What's up everybody, this is Bob and the Boo here, here with my post ban list and Damien deck profile. So, let's just get right into it. Bangalore! To start off with our main deck, so I play the triple serving of Damien, triple Damien the Mind Master of Magic, double Doctor, one Infection Damien. So I play the two Doctor because you just don't want to like have like two Doctors in hand. So this just reduces the chances of it, and besides, you're only going to use one uh, Doctor's effects anyway, so just having two is enough. So yeah, that's basically it for the Damien cards, so I quickly go through the other ones. The one Ashcraft, the Triple Chronograph with the one Time Gazer. So continuing on, I play the one Mythical Beast Master Service and the two Jackal King. So I'm playing the Boo Boy Engine, and the Soul stuff. So yeah, that's basically it for the monsters. Let me just go through all the spell cards real quick. So I'm running nine starters with like with servant to get out servant and Damien. Because servant and Damien is your key card to, to go to first thing to set any pin scale and then special summon it to get your jackal so they can't nib you or anything or hand trap you even. So yeah, and also I have other uses of small world too, which will be in the side deck. Which I'll show you a bit later. So, yeah. I play the, the engage set. So, no word anchor here. Um, the last deck profile I did, I used word anchor. But then I realized that multi world is actually a bit useful because it can send cards that you don't want. For originally, I was going to put in the Zephyr engine. But then I realized how annoying it was just to remove cards. So, I was going to add, add this in. Then I cut out the Zephyr engine, and because of that, well, no Zephyr engine in here. Although Moji World is quite useful, you can't, your opponent can't respond cards if you just send a card, which you're going to be most likely going to be doing that. So you just revolve, um, resolve a bunch of spell cards after then your opponent can't respond to them. So I guess that's a good thing, keeping this card anyways. And also, not spell card, good, 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 and engage, of course, draw, draw, draw. So. I expected. One is the fusion as usual. One uh we triple restage in the right, right hand because dark will no more is a pain in the ass. So to finish it off, we have two preparation lights just to get our souls. One to avoid goblin, triple a law, and then the spell book stuff. So a bunch of draw cards and a bunch of searches for your souls and stuff. So yeah, that's basically his spells. There's no traps here because traps... Well, this deck's already pulling out a bunch of negates anyway, so traps is going to be a lot useless in this deck. It's more likely to make it slow this deck down. So yeah. So basically, that's it for the main deck. We'll go on with the extra deck real quick. Extra deck, I played one Axis, one Appaloosa, Triple Selene. Don't have a third one, I'll get at some point. But having Triple Serene is super good, so because Serene is not a hard once per turn, you can just keep keep using the effect again and again to get your Endemians back from the graveyard or special summon the hand, and to get out your Appaloosa and stuff. So, yeah, recommend you to have three Appal um not Appaloosas, three Serenes. So, yeah. Want to be on the Pendulum? You don't really need to summon this card at all, I be don't believe. It's rare for you to actually use, use it. But I keep it there just in case if something bad happens, so yeah. One day breaker, one carry to draw stuff. Breaker uh for breaking boards, so yeah. One car sheet, sometimes with Celine and stuff, you you usually go into the absolute side where you somehow exceed something to absolute. Link off into car sheet with Celine. Then Celine and absolute effect. With summon Vortex, but summon Vortex on the cross sheep, and cross sheep will summon something from the graveyard, which is all for less, which usually it usually ends up being Crowley, so yeah. So yeah, and then just go Celine, and then you got your free Appaloosa off from it, anyways. So yeah, cross sheep is a needed card for the Vortex route for this, but yeah. And then let's start it off, end off with the four cards Guy, because we're running Engage. Artemis. Artemis works because of the uh, restage card and souls combo. So you always have to keep this in hand. 
One Norito. I don't know why I keep this, but it's nice to have. And then the instant fusion target with many I'm district. So yeah, that's basically it for the extra deck. Let's just get on with the side deck real quick. Um, although the side deck isn't well, uh, well, I would say great, because considering this is the early form, like new beginning of a new format, I uh, like I'm focusing on mostly on Kashira, because well, zone locking is some fun, especially against pendulums, because if you just zone lock one zone, you're pretty much screwed the whole time. So this is all Kashira hates nearly. So triple chaos hunter here. One triple Denko Seka for back row decks since this deck sucks against anti spell fragrance. Two kaiju could be different, although you can just use small world to then search off the kaiju anyway, so it doesn't really matter. One Majesty Fiend because a uh, small world exists and there's a way actually you're getting it because it's because most of your cards if you small world. You get either spellcaster, spellcaster, dark squad combinations, or any that will actually get you Banshee's thing quite easily. And then we've got our triple nibs. Well, Castillo hate, of course, they all lose against Nib. And then the triple book of equips because a lot of decks lose to it. Make a lot of decks, maybe. Uh, I would say it does a, a huge chunk to some most decks. I would say so. Yeah. That's basically it for the side deck. The side deck isn't that too fancy at all. Still thinking on what to put for the side deck still. If, if you guys have any thoughts on it, just let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, that's basically it for the deck profile. If you like this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. Make sure you share this with other friends and share with other Endemian pen lovers. So yeah, this is Bobby Nobui, signing out. See y'all.